We welcome to the studio this morning. Oh, I'm so excited he's here. A Golden Globe and Olivier Award winning actor who is now threatening to dethrone Andrew Scott as the new hot priest in town. Uh, so good to have you back on the show. Tom Hiddleston, good morning. Oh, it's so lovely to be here. Thank oh, you for having me back. And you walked in this morning. I walked in this morning oh, through the park, listening lovely. to the show. You heard the 733. The, 7, 733. the Tom songs. Yeah, Atomic, uh, Space. <laughs> Oddity, yeah. love both those tunes. Oh, fantastic. Um, it was All lo- in your yeah. honour today, very, Tom. Very, very sweet. Uh, yeah. You can't celebrate enough of the Toms, quite frankly. And congratulations. Last time you were here, we were talking, I think I spoke to you about uh, Loki, actually, but also last time you were in here, we were talking about betrayal. Yeah. And you got ga- engaged. So <laughs> congratulations. Thank you very, oh. very, very much indeed. Life Thank is you. wonderful. Yeah. We're going to talk about your new project, The Essex Serpent. Before we talk, here's a little tease for everybody oh, here we about go. what to expect. A sea creature has been spotted. Is there something out there? Well, that's what I'm here to find out. I've done some research. Into a mythical beast? Not mythical, real. The serpent is an invention. A symptom of the times we live in. So you're against progress? I'd rather believe in a creature people have actually seen than an invisible god. Is that blasphemy? We won't get my husband to judge you, no matter how hard you try. (laughs) Oh, that's all he gets. That is all he gets. Amazing to hear it as well. I think that's the trailer, but I've never never heard it. Never heard that before. Uh, Tom, what can you tell us? I always like to do these things, but fear that I'll give too much away. I leave it in your capable hands. All right. Okay, The Essex Serpent is set in 1893 on the easternmost east coast of England, Essex. Most of you know it, and we know where it is. Um, A land of mist and mud and marshes. Um, The world is changing very fast. The power of reason and science is growing. The power of organized religion is possibly diminishing. A teenage girl has gone missing. Something's bumping into the fishing boats out on the Blackwater estuary. Is there something beneath the surface of the water come to steal your children and haunt your dreams? Has the Essex serpent, this winged dragon from folklore that uh, is swimming beneath the surface, has it returned? Um, or is, uh, is it a symbol of some turbulent um, change that's on the horizon? Um, Cora Seaborn is played by Claire Danes. She is a uh, aristocratic heroine who's Uh, found a new curiosity in the natural sciences and she rushes to Essex where there's been an earthquake and comes into this very God-fearing community um, uh, who are looked after by the local vicar, Will Ransom. That's my character. Um, But the village and the community are full of fear and anxiety about what is happening. Has the serpent come back? Beautifully done. Okay. I'm in. Everyone's in. All the listeners are like that. You've literally got us in the palm of okay. your hand. It was like the best episode of Jack and Nori we've ever had. Um, it's so, so good. I'm two Thank episodes you. in. Yeah. And it's all wonderful. How was it to play with Claire Danes? Oh, um, I love it. Claire is absolutely wonderful. Just a true pro. Has been doing it for so long. It's so She's so bright and so... Um, intelligent and funny and game and such a great she was such a great leader on this we were out in on the Essex coast um, right on the edge sort of um, Malden and North Fanbridge and the Tolsbury marshes and West Mersey in the the lockdown last winter yeah. um, caught up in the wind and the rain and the mud and the tide but I tell you something covid didn't stand a chance <laughs> Not in that, not in that in wind. That weather, in the yeah. wind. Because by then we all knew it was very, you know, the virus is much, infinitely less transmissible in yeah. in the outside. So in a way, just being whipped up in this kind of marshy wind was a, um, a release. And perfect for the story because that setting and that weather. Yeah. I mean, it really does things to you. And as you're watching, yeah. as you're watching, and you're slightly conflicted here between, you know, thinking about the religion and folklore, exactly. and you know, and the change in, in in the story of science and what's happening in science. It's, it's all it's, change, it's, yeah. It's, it's in it's a time really, of uncertainty, which am- feels very resonant with what, what we've all been time. through. Yeah. And you got to work with Cleo, well, not, yes. an incredible director. Amazing director. 
we saw um, is it Ali and Ava? Ali and Ava. So selfish yeah. giant. Selfish giant. Um, the Arbor. So Dark what, River. Yeah. What an incre- what an incredible team. And the young actors in this are wonderful. Incredible. Because to me, you are still very young, Tom. <laughs> um, Almost. But to them, I guess you know, some of them are just starting out. And there's a, there's a couple of scenes there where I was thinking, how must this be for them to be acting alongside Tom Hiddleston? Well, I, so yes, I, put, I have my character Will, and he is married to a woman called Stella, played by the peerless Clemence Posey. And um, and Will and Stella have two children, Joe and John, played by Dixie Egerix and Ryan Ruffle. And they, I mean, Dixie, Dixie is a bit older. She was, she'd been in the Secret Garden and um, has done a lot of acting. He's probably done more acting than I have. Um, <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, Ryan was a, was a big MCU fan. I think it was pretty, pretty wild uh, that he was, you know, Loki was his dad or whatever, whatever the scenario was in his head. But we had a really, really fun time. Oh, um, but yeah, we had we had some chickens that the ransoms had a beautiful a kind of rectory on the on the on the marshes. And, and they gave us uh, some chickens. Dixie and Ryan decided to go and give all the chickens names. What were the names? I can't remember all of them. I just <laughs> okay. remember Ryan was really keen that there was one uh, chicken called Jeff. <laughs> Jeff with a G or a J? Um, we have to ask Ryan. You'd have to ask Ryan. <laughs> yeah. If you get in touch, 88 291. <laughs> if he's listening this morning, uh, the Essex Serpent is coming to Apple TV Plus from Friday. More chat with Tom after BTS. So many messages coming in for Tom Hiddleston's our guest this morning on BBC Radio 2. It's 8 49. Uh, Tom, a lot of pets named after Loki. Uh, we've had a lovely picture of a chinchilla from Mo. Uh, my Looks chinchilla. exactly it's like uncanny. me. It's yeah, uncanny. Yeah, I mean, a- you couldn't have called that bunny anything other uh, than Loki. Uh, I have to ask you about Fancy Dress Friday, a different theme each week on the Essex Serpent. Did oh, wow. Did you know about that? <laughs> yes, I This did. is obviously a crew or this cast is a, member. This is a crew member, yeah. Um, we, yeah, it was because it was the lockdown and um, I think it was a brilliant idea by, by what, I can't remember exactly who had come up with it, but it sort of started and... It was almost like the rumour of the Essex Serpent. It caught like wildfire. But basically, Fancy Dress Friday, there was a theme um, every Friday and and the crew was so committed. So you've got, you know, these amazingly experienced crew members who are doing sound or props or scenic painting or working on, working on the camera. Um, assistant directors, runners, everybody committed to these themes. I remember there was one we were doing a very heavy scene in a, in a doctor's surgery and it was it was i think the theme was animals and the camera operator was just like it was a giraffe and an elephant and there's i mean these colorful animals just suddenly in the room with us i thought what is going what's going on is this a but they were brilliant they, uh, yeah they were they were hilarious oh truly. but you know these it can be long shoots in quite yeah. brutal conditions at yeah. times so you need that yes. humor don't you yeah yeah to keep you all going i'm t- trying to imagine you trying to play that straight as well there was one day when uh, we did it was like your favorite character from uh television and or, and so the b camera operator robert a terrific terrific man came dressed as Loki. <laughs> of course he did. Did he do it well? He did it very well. Oh, yeah. Good. Thank yeah. goodness They'll for be that. recasting the role. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. I have to ask you about Loki, otherwise people will be furious with me. Okay. Uh, series one, just unbelievable. You're um, very kind. And, Thank and you. epic. Where are we at with series two? What's uh, what's what's the latest? Um, what can I tell you without um, Never being being in trouble. Blood, blood, blood. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to be in it. Yes. There we go. Um, <laughs> You've not, it's yeah. not being a camera operator. Yes, from it the, be, it's it not been be, recast. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's sort of. Um, yeah, I think most, some, a few people, other people in it will be returning. To well this done. Show. <laughs> well done, you. It's so ridiculous. Yeah, it's it's hard not to, but it's great. We're in we're in the we're in at the deep end. Okay. We're, we're building it. Great. And, uh, build it, and they will come. And they will come. And oh, we cannot wait as well. Joe Fox here. One question for Tom Bond with please three exclamation marks. <laughs> Have you been asked, would you, have you ever done that thing at home? Maybe you were a teenager when you did it, where you went like that with the gun pose in the mirror, Tom um, Hiddleston. That, the, probably not the last bit. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, That's maybe. maybe. Yeah. I've done that. Um, yeah. I, Daniel Craig is indelible, is he not? I feel he's, uh, he is Bond. It's him. 
It's hard to think of somebody else, isn't it? It is quite hard to yeah. see beyond him at yeah, the moment. Yeah. OK, with time. There you go, Joe. Giving absolutely nothing away there. I hope you're happy <laughs> with that answer. Also, uh, can you say hi to Tom from Eric, the Cocker Spaniel, who starred with him in the Essex, Ser uh, Essex Serpent from his owner, Sarah. I see. It's That's amazing. I remember Eric very, very well. <laughs> yes, the Will Ransom in the Essex Serpent has a Spaniel. They have it. And... Um, Eric was extremely sweet and on some days he didn't really know what was going on so in order to keep him close I had a little handful of sausages oh, well just because he needed to know that he was they safe were there. and that they were there yeah. and that you were going to be good to him <laughs> yeah. and feed the pup and he'll do anything he you is want. so sweet. Very <laughs> sweet dog. Oh my goodness me. Uh, also uh, a question that the crew uh, on our show the prod squad as they call them wanted to know if you were in a boat with all of the Avengers who would you chuck out first? Oh uh, okay. Um, and who would you ditch last? This is a great question. Really Take tough. Take some thought. Really tough. I'm going to get some um, very angry phone calls from uh, <laughs> some former castmates <laughs> after this. Uh, well, if it's me, I don't know. If it's me, I don't know. Um, there's so many Avengers now, aren't there? Oh, I know. Uh, I've probably got to go back to the original six because okay, I was like in the it. first one. Um, I love Mark Ruffalo with all my heart, but Loki doesn't love the Hulk. So maybe the Hulk's so got to go overboard. He's got to go overboard. And then I've got to keep, I'm sure they've got to keep Thor. I've got yeah. to keep Chris, haven't I? Yeah. Otherwise, you the know. Br the brotherly love. The brotherly love, that's the br it. That's a great answer to the question. It's so, so good to see you, Tom. Very quickly before you go, Eurovision on Saturday. I'm yes. not sure if you'll be watching. Do you love a bit of Eurovision? Uh, Is it not something... More recently, lock the lockdown Eurovision was very cheering. Yeah, it um, was, wasn't yeah, yeah. it? It was really <laughs> so, good. Uh, um, well, our I'm Richie... very pleased to hear that Ukraine are yes, in and doing it. Yeah, They're going to, I think, they're going to do brilliantly, do as is well. our Sam Ryder, uh, yes. who's for the UK. Uh, we hear you speak Italian. Richie, who does the travel on the show, he is going to Turin. Tom's actually pulling a face at me, so maybe doesn't speak Italian. I mean, a little bit. Yeah. I could say, could you give buongiorno. Us a little... Okay, perfect. Buongiorno, Forza Italia, Forza <gasps> Sam Ryder, Pizza Napolitana. Oh! Oh, Tom Middleston, we loved you before. We love you even more. Okay. Tom, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. So to great see to us. be here. Uh, Truly. It's fantastic. The Essex Serpent on Apple TV Plus from Friday, guys. You're going to love it. Uh, when there's more to tell us about Loki, you can never tell us much about it, even when Loki's about to be on. Do come back and see us, Tom. I will. You I would love care. that. Love you. Thank you, Danny. Bye. Bye.